click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous topic we have discussed about the numerical based on the binding energy and here we are going to talk about the radioactivity. So what are radioactivity, what is the unit of it, let me talk about that in this topic. <music> So friends, here I'm going to talk about the radioactivity and radioactivity is a phenomenon which is shown by the radioactive elements. So what is radioactivity actually? So radioactivity is nothing but it is a phenomenon of the spontaneous emission of the nuclear particles and the gamma radiations so that a new nuclear can be formed. So usually this is the radioactivity that is exhibited by the radioactive elements, for example, uranium and radium. So this uranium and radium, these are the unstable nucleides and that's the reason that they have to emit the energy in the form of alpha radiation, beta radiation and gamma radiation by transforming itself into a new nucleide. So based on that here basically we are going to talk about the radiation that could be emitted by the unstable nuclear. So therefore here is a particular table that I am going to talk about regarding the alpha radiation, beta radiation and gamma radiation. So friends as you can see over here there are three kind of the radiation that could be done that is alpha radiation, beta radiation and gamma radiation. So in that case this is a table which I am going to talk about that how we can differentiate it. Suppose if we talk about the identity of the alpha particles then it has been found that is the alpha particles are nothing but the helium nucleus that is having an atomic number of 2 and the atomic mass it is found to be 4. But talking about the beta particles, so beta particles are fast moving electrons and talking about the gamma radiations, and gamma radiations are nothing but the electromagnetic waves which are nothing but photons. So talking about the charge of the alpha particle, so the alpha particle has a plus 2 charge while talking about the beta particle it is having minus 1 charge and gamma radiations since they are neutral so therefore they don't have charge. So talking about the mass, so the mass of the alpha particle it is found to be 4 times that of the mass of the proton while talking about beta particles because beta particles are nothing but they are the electron itself so therefore the mass of the beta particles are nothing but the mass of the electron and talking about the gamma radiation they are massless. So now here let me talk about the speed of the alpha particles so the speed of the alpha particles is 10 raised to 7 meter per second while talking about the beta particles they are up to 99 percent of the speed of the light and talking about the gamma rays so they travel with the speed of light. So here the other table is regarding the penetration power it has been found that is the alpha radiations have more penetrative power than that of beta and that of alpha and talking about the next one that is ionization power so here basically the alpha has more ionization power compared to that of beta and the beta has more ionization power compared to that of the gamma radiation and now let me talk about the electric or magnetic field deflection for the alpha beta and gamma radiation since alpha particles are the one which has a positive charge on it that's the reason it can be deflected from the electric as well as the magnetic field so talking about the beta particles so beta particles also consist of a negative charge that is a charge which is negative that's the reason they could be deflected from the electric as well as the magnetic field and since the gamma radiations are nothing but they are the one that has no charge basically they are neutral that's the reason they will not be deflected by any kind of electric or magnetic field so therefore these are the radiations that could be emitted by a radioactive element so talking about the units of the radioactivity so the unit of the radioactivity is measured with the help of a unit known as Curie and it has been found that is 1 Curie is equals to 3.7 into 10 raised to 10 disintegration per second and here disintegration per second is also known as Becquerel. So therefore we could say that is 1 Curie is equals to 3.7 into 10 raised to 10 Becquerel and that's it. So this was regarding the radioactivity and Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I will see you next time. Till then don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.